My name is Avi Kenny, and I'm a third year biostatistics PhD student here at the UW School of Public Health. I'm originally from New York City, and I did my undergrad at Brown University, where I studied biology, although I switched my major no less than six times because there were so many different things I was interested in. So my first exposure to global health came my junior year when I was working for an organization called Gardens for Health International. And Gardens for Health operates in Rwanda and essentially helps to build community gardens for HIV patients in the hopes of decreasing rates of malnutrition, which will in turn make antiretroviral drugs more effective. So when I got back to college that fall, I started looking into different organizations who were doing work in the healthcare space in the developing world. And I was incredibly lucky to land a job after graduating working for an organization called Last Mile Health. And Last Mile Health essentially partners with governments in the developing world to build community health programs where health workers are trained to treat diseases like malaria and pneumonia and screen pregnant women for danger signs and essentially extend the reach of the primary health care system. So I've been a math nerd my whole life and at Last Mile Health I was able to apply quantitative thinking and data science techniques to real world problems. So for example, during the 2014 Ebola outbreak, we did an analysis of our mobile health database and we're trying to figure out whether we could reliably diagnose malaria cases without taking blood from the patient. And so what this essentially allowed us to do was enable our health workers to continue serving their communities without being at risk for Ebola infection. In many ways, this was my dream job and it was really hard to leave. But the more I learned about statistics and research, the more I realized just how much I didn't know. And so I knew I had to go back to grad school to gain the practical skills I needed for a career in global health. Biostats ended up being a pretty natural choice. And to me, biostatistics is the art and science of figuring out how we can most effectively leverage a given data set to answer scientific questions. And this was precisely the skill set I was trying to gain. So I was totally overjoyed when I was accepted at the University of Washington, uh, not just because it's one of the best biostats departments in the world, but because the faculty here are really focused on practical research that's motivated by real world public health applications. And to me, purely theoretical research is not particularly interesting. Like, I want my research to have an actual impact on people's lives. And I really believe that the faculty here would push me to sustain this focus, and they, they really have so far. So my research in particular has to do with the COVID-19 vaccine trial data. Some of you may know that most of the vaccine trial data is being analyzed by a team here in Seattle with some members at the Fred Hutch Research Center and some members at the University of Washington. And I've been working with this team to develop statistical tools to examine the relationship between antibodies in the bloodstream and COVID-19 infection rates. And answering this question could help us design better vaccines in the future and can also potentially help us speed up the vaccine development process. And in general, developing more advanced statistical tools allows researchers like Dr. Bedford to answer the scientific questions they're interested in, but with greater precision or while making fewer assumptions about the underlying data generating mechanism. So it's been a ton of fun collaborating with this team and there's already been about a dozen other questions that have spawned off of our initial project. So I'm really looking forward to continuing this work. In part because of ARCS, I've been able to fully focus on my research without having to worry about holding down a second job to support myself. And to me, this has really been one of the greatest benefits of being an ARCS fellow. So in terms of what I want to do after grad school, I'm trying to keep an open mind at this point, but I want to do something that allows me to use data science and statistics to help make the world a better place. And so that could be working for a research institution like the Fred Hutch. It could be working in the nonprofit data science space, or, or it might be in academia doing global health research. And so for now, I'm just gonna focus on my dissertation and see where the world takes me. Outside of grad school, the latest thing I've been into is foraging for wild mushrooms, which is a really fun hobby because it gives you a great excuse to hike off trail in super remote parts of the Cascades and the Olympic Mountains. And if you get lucky, you'll find some dinner for that night. So the last thing I'd say, again, is just a big thank you to Arx and to my donors, Doug and Nancy Norberg and Kristen Kennefick for all the support over the last three years. Throughout my career, I'm looking forward to demonstrating the value that Arx has contributed to my experience here at the UW. And I really hope that all of you at this event through your giving today are able to help future fellows have a positive impact on the world.